hello 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 everyone welcome back to another youtube video so y'all today i am doing please y'all y'all already know i've been back up on my videos so this is i will you would call it a kind of a valentine's day set but not really because it's a regular set it just got some hearts like one finger got a heart on it but we gonna call it a valentine's day set because i recorded this maybe like two months ago so um this is a full set of nails but i'm only going to show one hand because both of the hands are exactly the same so i'm only going to be showing her right hand which is this hand right here so started off with my prep y'all i did go ahead and i pushed her cuticles back and i'm going in with this skinny mandrel bit and this is the first time i'm using this y'all and let me tell y'all i love it 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 <coughs> i love it um, so I'm going to go ahead and use this just to remove the shine off her nails. And right after I'm done doing it, I am going to go in with my nail tips and glue on her nail tips. I am using Dream Nail Supplies 2XL No C-Curve Square Nail Tips. You can find them on my store. Link will be down in the description box. Um, a lot of y'all have been asking me if I'm still doing the 30% off my acrylics. And I am not. Just, yes. Um, yes, please. I'm coming. Um. But no, I am not doing the 30% off my acrylics um, anymore because um, I did tell you guys the sale was only until I did get my new jars and stuff in. Um, so I did add, I have a new collection on my store. The It's called Six Shades of Brown. Basically, the name is what it is. It's Six Shades of Brown that come in the collection. I also added two new covers. <coughs> I also added two new covers. We have creamy peach and we do have detach. Detach is more of like a nude type of sheer. It's type of like a sheer. It's kind of like a sheer version to my cover um bear. So if you know, you know. And then I also have creamy peach, which is available in two ounce and four ounce. All of my cover colors are available in four ounce, two ounce, and some I still have stocked in the one ounce jars from when I first started so y'all let me know down in the comments below if you still want my covers to be available in one ounces as well because i know um you know my one ounce is 10.99 my two ounces is 15.99 and my four ounce is 24.99 if i'm not mistaken y'all don't beat me up if i'm wrong but i feel like those prices are right um so yeah just let me know down in the comments below if you guys still want my covers to be available in um one ounce as well because i know that you know for the people who hasn't purchased from me you know just to test the waters a little bit they might want a smaller sized jar so y'all let me know um so anyways after i placed her nail tips on i'm gonna go with those magnets and i am going to um cut her nails her the tips down and we are going to keep it on a, a square shape. I did taper it in just a teeny weeny bit. But I would still say that these are square over tapered square. It's kind of in between y'all. Um, I'm going to be using my 80-80 grit nail file. And I'm going to be just making sure that the nail tip and the side walls of her nails are um, flush with each other. And I'm also going to be straightening up the free edge of the nail. Um, so once I'm done shaping these nail tips, I'm going to go with my dehydrator and my primer. I do use the Model 1's dehydrator and I also use, um, after I use my dehydrator, if I don't use alcohol or swipe, I do use my Model 1's dehydrator. And then, thank you. And then I use the Young Nails um, Protein Bond. And then right after that, I used a no lift nail primer. Y'all, I found the nail store close to me that sell it for like $10, $13. And that's way cheaper than what they have it for on Amazon. Um. Oh, y'all, I lied. After I use my hand file, I'm going to use my that same skinny mandrel bit and just to blend the nail tips with her nails. But this is where I do my prep. After I do my prepping and all that, my priming and all that good stuff, I am going to go with a small clear bead of acrylic on her natural nails. And this is just something that I got in the habit of doing. Um, And I really don't have to do it because 
they usually don't come back for a fill. It's like once in a blue moon that they will come back for a fill where I don't have to um, take the nails off, soak the nails up, or anything like that. Um, But this is just something I've gotten so in the habit of doing. And I am using my Dream Nail Supply Size number 14 Kalinsky Nail Brush. This... <coughs> Whoa, a lot of mercy. Whoa. The clear that I'm using is Dream Nail Supplies Clear. Um, acrylic powder for the nude powder I am using today. I am using Dream Nail Supplies Pearl acrylic powder. And for the blue powder I am using, it's this chisel acrylic powder that I picked up from my nail supply store because I wanted to try it. I see Tub Beauty. She uses chisel all the time, y'all. Every time she uses colored powders, she uses chisels, so I saw it in my nail store and I wanted to try it. And y'all, it's actually really good. Um, it's a really good brand. I see why she uses them. So yeah, y'all, I'm gonna let y'all. I did keep the application in real time for you all. So yeah, like I said, I am just doing a small clear B. Um just doing a small clear bead on her natural nails not too big just like a very very tiny tiny bead as you see here um oh i forgot for acrylic i am i else my gosh i'm also using dream nail supplies um ice queen it's a part of the neon lights glitter collection it's this very light blue glitter acrylic I'm going to be using that on the ring finger and that's about it for the powders that I'll be using in today's video. So I hope you guys enjoy the application and I'll jump back in for my closing thoughts.
Alrighty, y'all. So as soon as I am finished with my application, I am gonna go with my not polished hand file and my same. Y'all, I love the bit so much. The skinny mandrel. I just had to use it to do this part of the application process. So I'm gonna seal her cuticles, go underneath and do the free edge of the nails, make sure you know all the acrylic that got stuck under there when I cut that extra acrylic off is no longer there, then I get rid of it so it gives her that nice shape underneath. Um, this is basically all I'm going to do. I do prefer to use my e-file before I hand file. Um, so, y'all, after I finish with my e-file, I'm going to go with my hand file and give these nails a nice crisp, crisp shape. Then I'm going to go with my buffers. I got these cute little heart buffers from Shein. Or Shein, whatever you want to say. Sometimes I say Shein, sometimes I say Shein. So buff her nails and then i'm gonna go with the nail art the nail art is very very simple just some v-cut french and two little hearts on the pinky finger nothing too fancy very simple but very cute um the this nail set it just came out so like clean so neat and i absolutely loved it so i'm gonna let you guys watch this up until i start my my frenchies
All right, y'all. So now for the gel polishes that I will be using for the nail for the V French, I it is these. I did pick up these two DND gel polishes from my local nail supply store. I always hear nail techs rave about this brand. I've never um, I've never actually tried them. So when I saw them, they were five dollars for the duo set at my nail supply store. I said, let me just go ahead and pick up two, see how I like it. And y'all, I absolutely love them. Um, they're just so smooth, so easy to work with. Um, so I did go ahead and pick up this blue one and this pink one. And I'm just going to be using the blue for today's set. And I'm going to use the pink one to do those little hearts. So this is pretty much the end of this video, y'all. I'm going to top coat here for 60 seconds, add the cuticle oil, and take my photos. And that's it for this nail set, y'all. I feel like simple nail sets are just so cute. Um... So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was a little on the shorter side just because I only showed one hand. Um, the application process, like I said, I did leave it in real time so you guys can see. Um, and I also have um, a Sheen haul coming for you guys. I made a purchase last night and I'm supposed to be making another purchase later when my husband gets off work. Because he has to unlock his card. Because I be locking my card too. Let me know, do y'all be locking your card? Because I don't trust that. Every second Apple want to charge for this, that, and the third. So y'all be locking my card. So I'm going to make another purchase. Um, I only bought $101 worth of stuff last night. Um, I didn't buy no charms or nothing like that. So this next purchase I do... I'm going to purchase some um, charms and all that good stuff. I actually, another reason why I didn't purchase no charms, I just purchased a whole bunch of bling charms from my vendors. Because I did promise you guys that I was going to start my bling charm scoop. Because I know a lot of you all have um, told me that y'all would love to purchase the scoops, but y'all not y'all don't really use those big kawaii charms. Which is understandable. It's not everybody cup of tea, y'all. So I did purchase that bling a whole bunch of bling for my vendor to do the, my my first bling scoop <clears throat> um but yeah anyways this is the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment subscribe um i'll try to get back to everybody in the comments as soon as i possibly can or if i can because it'd be a lot of y'all y'all be showing your girls some love um but yeah y'all i hope you guys enjoyed it and the most important important part of my closing y'all don't forget to put god first in everything you do and i will see y'all in my next video bye